Hi, good morning again. Um, problem I get in the workshop here is if I want to find the center of a piece of tube, um, square rectangular for instance, that I've got here, um, I can use the vernier, which I have. It's a right-handed vernier, but that's another story. There's a video about left-handed vernier on the channel. Now, it's for this in this instance, it's 40 mil. Now, I've got to measure half of that distance, so that's 20 mil, which is fine, apart from the fact we've got a round edge on the tube. So, where do I put the vernier? The, the, is, there's going to be a lot of inaccuracy there, uh, certainly the way I do it. So... The best way I found is you have a similar height piece of metal, draw a line, turn your tube over, draw another line, you end up with two parallel lines and I by eye divide the distance. Um, so that should be the centre. And that that's fine not very accurate i work to millimeters in the workshop I, i'm not fractions of millimeters i'm not that sort of engineer and that's fine but if you if, you, if you've got a bigger distance you need to measure then you've got to start putting spacer pieces in and if they're not the right size i'll show you you've got a bigger division you need to divide so the accuracy is going to be less um or even less accurate than the smaller side depending on the thickness of these pieces uh yep i could get a rule i suppose um mark it that way uh, but what i've done our friends at banggood have come through with the goods again and i bought one of these it's a digital height gauge um i've only just started using it but it's fairly simple fairly straightforward drop that down to your your datum line your base uh i use uh, it's a marble slab we got from aldi so it's fairly flat uh, certainly good enough uh, as far as i'm concerned so drop your vernier down zero here raise it confirm the height and we've got 60.16 so this is what we're expecting is it's 60 mil tube i'm going to bring that down to 30 mil Give or take a fraction. Let's go, we're nearly there. Yep, that's close enough to 30. And then the end of this, there's been uh, manufactured into to the metal a piece of carbide, so it's very, very sharp. Um, and it should last a while if I'm careful with it. So what I'm gonna do there, hold the tube. I've got a bit of tape there, and it, it will mark the tape. Um, if we turn the tube over it's marked in a very similar position which would be fine and that's bang on to what I need um, but being carbide very sharp let's put it on that side that'll make more sense nicely draws a line and that's really what i was looking for with this digital gauge do it again just to see how accurate i was very very slightly off but that's down to me uh, not adjusting the height of the tube by half on the vernier but that's marked that lovely and that's well within any tolerance i'm going to need in the workshop so yeah i think the uh, the banggood vernier digital light gauge is going to be great and it's uh, it'll have more use than just finding the center line or something um, so yeah that's great and that was i think i paid less than 30 pounds for it delivered to the home i've been waiting a few weeks for it but it's turned up and yeah that's another uh, fairly accurate measuring tool i've got so that's certainly going to help me but i thought i'd just show you that um, in case you have the same problems i'm sure you've got better ways and you'll tell me better ways of dividing the height of a tube um, but that's going to work for me well if you found it useful please give me a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to the channel uh, you're going to find more videos like this coming your way um, on a weekly basis so yep thanks for watching